hey guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video glam season is almost over you guys this is the final look and today has been a day okay the only thing that i feel like i need to say to kind of like describe this day that it's um three in the morning right now so it's 3 a.m and this is my second time filming and my skin is like Ugh. however if you would love to know how i created this look and honestly i mean admit it this is a look right i mean i've made it admit it if you are curious on how to create this look then make the turn keep on watching listen <laughs> Okay, so here is what happened. I filmed the last look of glam season, okay? So I sat on the couch with my husband and I think I finished the look like two or three hours ago, okay? So happy with the look and gave my husband a high five because we finished glam season together. And next thing you know, before I was going to sleep, I checked the footage and I didn't like the look. I didn't like the look I did. I did like it for kind of like a normal upload on YouTube, but I didn't like to end glam season that way also there was this stupid lash it just annoys me there was this lash and it came off a little bit and i just couldn't stop staring at it and i looked at my husband and he knew that i was just not feeling the look so he said okay what are you going to do don't be so hard on yourself i said no i cannot i cannot do that so um here i am i'm going to refilm even though my skin is suffering, okay? It's just suffering and suffering. But um, I'm trying to keep everything positive, you know? <laughs> I'm rambling too much. Fact is, I have to do it again. So I just feel like it would be fair to show this video some extra love, okay? I'm going to start off by using this primer. <laughs> I have to laugh because I already did this. So I am going to try to make it as natural as possible going to use coconut skin from first a beauty on oh, my face i'm actually laughing at myself <laughs> i want to laugh and then cry later okay i'm going to blend this into the skin the foundation that i'm going to use is a Too faced born this way foundation <laughs> i have to laugh again <laughs> no this is another foundation in my previous video that I'm not going to upload, I've used another foundation, but I'm going for another look. Um, it's the Born This Way and... Uh... <laughs> oh my God, I'm glad I can laugh though. I'm getting pale so fast and um, it's the only thing that really matches now. Um, yeah, so Born This Way foundation it is. I hope you guys still enjoy <laughs> this tutorial. I'm going to use my Zoeva all night long um, buffer brush. By the way, if you want to know what shade I am, I am warm nude if i'm not wrong yeah warm nude and actually this foundation is quickly becoming one of my fave oh my god it covers up so much covers up all the redness all my spots okay i'm also going to apply a little bit of maestro glow from armani just because i feel like i don't know it's just i really like the finish of this foundation it's more like a gives kind of like a wet kind of feeling and effect you see that how fast that changed okay so i feel like you can really see my dark circles going on for concealer i'm going to use bobby brown uh, instant full cover concealer i actually really love this concealer and i love to use more bobby brown products but the reason that i haven't used this concealer in a long time is because i find it a little strange um like the amount of product that you get on your wand it's just so tiny and i know it's kind of like a typical bobby brown because they work with you know layering and layering and layering which is kind of like a makeup artist thing to do i don't know i want to be able to decide like myself how much product i want to use you know what i mean but um i do get it though but i love this concealer because it's like super high coverage and also kind of like correcting uh, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics 130 brush just to blend this a little. But I'm going to show you how beautiful this concealer is. You see how beautiful that covers? Even though it's a very high covering concealer, it still feels like it's very moist and very creamy without being cakey. 
So I've used that concealer kind of like to hide my <laughs> super dark circles, but now I'm going to kind of like highlight, but also cover a little bit more um, with Jouer High Covering Concealer in Custard. So after we've highlighted a little, I am going to take my beauty blender right here and blend everything as usual. Nothing new about this. Do have to say that I really love uh, the Jouer concealer. I don't have a lot of Jouer products. I do have a few highlighters, some lip products and a concealer, but I don't know. I don't have like a lot of them. Let me know if you guys um, use a lot of Jouer products. And if so, what do I need to have? That's it for the concealer. You probably can guess what I'm going to use to contour my face with because I've been loving it just so much. And I didn't really come across a contour stick that I thought it was similar or that it was even better. So that's why I'm going to use the Artist of Makeup Medium Contour Stick. And I'm glad you guys are liking the little bit more higher contour. Okay, now we're also going to blend this with my damp beauty blender. I'm taking my Sigma Sculpt Palette and I'm taking my NYX Professional Makeup Brush and we're just going to set the contour a little bit. I'm taking a Throw Shade and Faking It, so both shades. And I'm just slightly going to set it as well as adding a little bit more color and definition. You see how beautiful the foundation is? The Maestro Glow, I love it so much. Especially during summer, mm, such a beautiful foundation. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Huda Beauty Easy Bake um, Powder in Banana Bread. Actually, one of you commented uh, in one of my videos where I use the Easy Bake Powder that Banana Bread is actually super yummy and you were just shook that I haven't tried it. So I feel like when I go to the States, I definitely have to try it. Um, okay, I'm going in. We are going to bake with this. Okay, so this time I went a little extreme and brought it to my mouth. I don't know why, maybe it will give me a little bit more volume here. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute and I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. So I did the brows and I actually tried to do something different. It's more like, um, I would say more like a Korean style, more like Asian style. And usually people from Asia, they prefer more straight brows. I knew that when I was working for Armani, they were so into the straight brow. And I really loved it, but I thought that it wasn't really possible to do it with my own brows. Here I am, it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm trying out new brows because that's how we roll. I also applied a little bit of Jouer concealer on my eyelids to prime and now I'm going to zoom you in because we are going to do the eyes. I haven't applied powdered on my face yet because if we are going to make some mistakes or if we are going to have some fallouts, we won't be really able to um, correct it. Um, for today's look, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty by Riri Rihanna. Well, well. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to use is a super simple shade. It's this one right here. By the way, don't pay attention to my nails. I'm going to use Crayon Case Shadow Blender Brush. And this has a nice mirror, which is always good. So I'm going in with this color right now. As you can see, it's like super pigmented. Now I'm going in with a fluffy brush. This, I think this one's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to blend this color like that. Also going to use a little bit more of this color towards the outside of the eye. Now we're just going to blend this. Okay, that is really nice. If you look at the color, you wouldn't really think that this was going to be like so pigmented. So once this is blended, I'm going to grab my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush in number 40. It's kind of like a tapered, small crease uh, brush. And I'm going in with this dirty color. You guys know I love that. This one. I don't know which undertone it has. Kind of like a purple, brown, grayish, greenish shade. I can't really describe it, but if I can't describe it, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to darken up the crease with this. First, I'm just patting it a little to prevent fallouts. Okay, so now I am blending it. I'm taking a clean, fluffy brush. This one is from Jaclyn Hill 31. Yeah, 31, and I'm just going to blend it a little bit 
together with the first shade that we've used. As you can see, I'm only concentrating on the edges. Oh, that is nice and smoky. Okay, so same on the other side. So now I'm taking my large shader brush. This one is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And um, I am going in with kind of like mauve shades. So I'm going to mix this color together with that color and I'm going to apply it on my whole eyelid. Now I'm going to take my Dose of Colors palette, which was in collab with Disney. And I'm going in with a tiny bit of hooray on my eyelid and for that i'm using my bh cosmetics brush oh it's almost faded i think this one is an eight okay and i'm just going on top of this color so we have a little bit of sparkle going on but also to make it slightly more dirty i don't know should i call it like dirty See, that looks really nice and glossy so i'm going back in with my fenty palette again and i'm going to apply this color again on top of the shimmer so we still have that mauve color going on or else you can't really see it i'm just applying it with the other side of the brush that we've just used you see that is nice I'm also going in with a tiny bit of this color right here. Oh, such a beautiful color. And I'm going to place that like almost at the outer edges, but not like really, really. So like right about there. While I was doing my eyeshadow, I thought about this color from uh, Urban Decay, which is called Solstice. I don't know if it's like called Solstice. Should I pronounce it differently? I don't know. But it's a weird color because it's like super holographic and depends on, like you see now, it kind of like looks green. It also looks reddish right now. It's just a weird, beautiful color. And I thought maybe we should use this a little bit on the eyes. So I'm just going in and we'll see what happens. See, that is beautiful. I think it complements the eyeshadow so well. Not too much, but just a little. Now I'm going back in with my Dose of Colors palette and I'm going to use this beautiful red shade and I'm going to apply this on my whole lower lash line. See, that color is so beautiful and I think these colors together is just so gorgeous. Um, I'm going to use my Urban Decay large blending brush and I'm going to fade this a little bit. I don't want this look to be like too grungy, but just, um, I don't know, kind of like mysterious, but also glam and beautiful at the same time. So to line my waterline, I'm actually going to use two lip liners and I am going to use BH Cosmetics lip liner in Glory, but also a MAC uh, lip pencil in Habanero. So it depends on how orangey or red it looks. I might use a little bit more of this one or this one. So first I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics lip pencil oh that looks super pretty i am living for this look okay now i'm going in with mac we're going to do the eyes in a second but i am going to sculpt and contour my face with the sigma sculpt palette i'm going to mix these two okay guys i'm actually so confused right now did we do some contouring i think we did cream contour only because I, I also reused this in my previous video, but now I'm not sure if I contoured my face, but if I look at my face, I think, yeah. So if this is going to be, if, if I'm repeating this step, I'm sorry, I'm confused, okay? How late is it? It's 2.13 in the morning, guys. 2.13. Okay, I'm going to use my NYX Professional Makeup Brush. Goodness, guys. I love the eyes. I just love them, okay? It just makes me feel like a sexy vampire. Now, I think we should skip Lara Croft. I think I should be in Twilight right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if my husband is going to edit this out, but um, speaking about Twilight, he already knows what I'm going to say, okay? By the way, I'm just quickly going to refresh my concealer. But anyways, we were like, we went to the cinema, right? To watch Twilight. I think it was one of the last 
movies and uh, he asked me like hmm if you were Bella who would you choose I, I even forgot their names I forgot their names like the wolf or the vampire and you know I actually said I don't know I I really had to think about it you know the vampire is kind of like mysterious he thinks everything through um, he's kind of like calm and he has everything under control but like the wolf is kind of like the opposite he's impulsive and he's strong so i was really in a doubt like i don't know what should i pick because i like a man who's a little bit more calm but then again i like a man who's strong and not afraid of anything so i was just thinking you know i said i don't know i don't know and then he looked at me with his wide eyes and beard like this he really going to think about this <laughs> i said what you're asking me well he got jealous that you are really going to think about what kind of man you are going to choose because you can't choose between two. So if something from Twilight pops up, doesn't matter what it is or an image or even like the character who plays a completely different role in a, another movie, he'll just confront me with it. He said, and did you make up your mind? Do you know which, you are, which one you're going to choose? Well, you're some jealous husband. You're just jelly jelly. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard you thinking, please grab a drugstore highlighter. Colourpop it is. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I'm not even sure if it's available, but it's um, the Press Powder Cheek Highlighter. It's so weird that the name is not on the actual product. Maybe it was on the packaging, but it was something like Boy Next Door. Yeah, something like Boy Next Door. And I, I Love Sari uh, recommended it, so I needed it. So I'm going in with my Lux Fan brush from Zoeva and we are going to highlight Wowie. Mm. Caramba, that's so beautiful. Oh my god guys, I feel like I should be so in Twilight. For blush I'm thinking of a more pinky blush instead of like an orangey blush. Do you agree with me? Or like something in between maybe not like super pinky but like mauvey yeah mauvey so i think this blush is going to look great this is make you mine from mac it's kind of like a mauvey but also like brownish blush and going in with my jacqueline hill brush in number 06 it's so weird because if i look in the mirror i feel like you know that's a nice amount of blush and then when i look in the camera i'm like oh, that's quite a lot Going back in with my blender. We still haven't powdered yet, guys. But I feel like I don't really need to because the Jouer concealer kind of dries like on its own. So I don't really need um, a uh, powder. So for lips, I saw this color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is in the shade Grim. And I do really love it. Maybe I will apply a nude color in the center. Um, and then for um, lip liner, I'm going to use Be Perfect Cosmetics in Secret, which is a beautiful, like a cool brownish color. Okay, so that shade is stunning. This looks so good. I'm going in with a tiny bit of nude from the MAC Jamie Genevieve collection. This is, by the way, such a beautiful lipstick. I'm not sure if this is available anymore, but I just bought it recently um, via ASOS. So maybe you can try to check if it's still available. See, so yeah, we have a tiny bit of dimension. I like it slightly darker lip liner, so I'm just going to search for a darker liner. This is slightly more purple from Urban Decay, from Urban Decay, from NYX Cosmetics. This is Doom. Uh, this will do. So this looks super smudgy, but I'm going to um, reapply the liquid lipstick and fade it a little bit with the um, lip liner. Nice. I'm quickly going to apply Lily Lashes in Miami and then I wish I had a wrap mascara. I thought I had a wrap mascara from Givenchy. Can't find it because I thought that would look really cool um, if I applied it on my bottom lashes but I don't have it so I'm just going for a black one and I'll be right back. So I've applied the lashes and the mascara and I thought I used it a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see but I do love it. I'm going to use Eloise Beauty um, a Mulberry Mag Magenta in my inner corners. This is kind of like, um, it's beautiful. Okay, so really don't mind my hand, but do you see how gorgeous that is? I'm going to apply this a tiny bit 
in my inner corners. So we have a bit of a pinky inner corner going on. And I wasn't going to use a gloss, but honestly, my lips feel so dry. I really can't stand the feeling of very dry lips. So I'm going in with a tiny bit of Seriously Gloss from Dose of Colors. But just a bit, so I don't want this look to be super glossy. Okay, guys, so that is it for this look. Um, I am actually so glad that I refilmed today because this look is so, so much prettier than my previous look. And I wasn't going to, you know, finish off glam season with a look that's like, huh? like, hmm, okay. You know, it was just too simple and it's just so like, in the trash right now. So yeah, I'm actually super glad I refilmed it. I think this look is kind of like mysterious, but sexy at the same time. Maybe slightly grungy but with glam not like my previous grungy um glam and yeah i do love it i do think oh my god and so far oh my god glam season is over you guys i'm actually honestly okay i'm a little excited because now my skin can you know get a little vacation can get a winter sleep um, but at the same time, I'm actually super sad because I loved reading your comments, but I didn't get the chance to read every single comment and to sit down and just to enjoy the things that I did. And also Glam Season really pushed me to, you know, do something out of my comfy zone instead of like, you know, doing new lips and smoky eyes all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to take this with me. And to be honest, I think I did pretty Okay, I don't really say that easily, you know. I think I did pretty okay. Anyways, I hope I showed you seven completely different looks and I hope you enjoyed them all. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Also, if you want me to do a yearly favorite video, then let me know that I can choose um, some products per category. Uh, but I do have to say that I'm not good at, you know, I'm just not going to look at what launched in 2018 because all my respect for people who can do that. I can't remember them all. But you know, what my favorites were this year, what I've been using so far, what I really like so far. That is going to be a hard video to do, but if you really want that, then let me know. Um, and yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, follow me on my other social channels and then i'll see you guys in my next video bye